when um, I defined a linear transformation, I gave as my opening example t of x equals a times x for a matrix A. And then I gave a few other examples. However, it turns out that that first example I gave, t of x equals a times x, is in a sense the only example. Suppose you have any linear transformation. Then there is a matrix A called the matrix of the linear transformation, such that applying this transformation T to a vector is the same as matrix multiplication by this matrix. And I can do better than this. I can tell you how to find this matrix. To do that, we'll need a little terminology. Let E sub I be the vector with one in its ith component and zero everywhere else. So in R2, we have one zero, E sub one has one in the first location, zero everywhere else. And we have E sub two, which has one in its second location, zero everywhere else. In R3, we have E sub one, E sub two, E sub three. Notice that this notation is contextual. So E sub one means one thing in R2. It means a different thing in R3. It would mean something else in R4. This matrix A has as its columns the following vectors T of E sub one, T of E sub two and so on up to T of E sub N. And we want to prove this and we want to do examples with this, but let's call this video here.